evening, everybody. In the 24 hours till 8 p.m. last night in New South Wales, there were 587 locally acquired cases of COVID-19 reported. There were also 112,186 COVID-19 tests reported. And a big thank you for everybody for coming forward for testing, even if you have the mildest of symptoms. Um, for people who do have COVID, we have excellent treatments available and excellent care available for you. So if you do have symptoms, please get tested. It's important um, that we are able to connect you with care um, and uh, provide that assistance with the excellent treatments that we have. Um, in terms of vaccination, in New South Wales, we've reached now the 70% double dose vaccination milestone. And a big thank you to everybody who's come forward uh, to protect themselves, protect their families and protect their communities. In New South Wales, we've now administered uh, more than 10.5 million doses of vaccine, which is really a remarkable achievement. Currently in hospital in New South Wales, there are 911 COVID-19 cases admitted and 181 people in intensive care, 85 of whom require ventilation. Of the 181 cases in ICU, 132 people are not vaccinated, 35 people have received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and 14 people have received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. Sadly, today we are reporting the deaths of eight people who have died with COVID-19. They are five men and three women. One person was in their 20s, one person in their 50s, two people in their 60s, two people in their 70s, and two people in their 80s. Three of the people who passed away were from southwestern Sydney, two from western Sydney, one person from southeastern Sydney, one person from Sydney's inner city area, and one person was from Wellington in western New South Wales. Five of the people who sadly passed away were not vaccinated. One person had received one dose and two people with underlying health conditions had received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. We report that two people, a man in his 20s from Western Sydney and a woman in her 80s from Southeastern Sydney, died at home and tested positive to COVID-19 after their deaths. A man in his 70s from Southwestern Sydney died after acquiring his infection at Campbelltown Hospital. And this gentleman's death is the fourth death linked to that outbreak. On behalf of New South Wales Health, I extend my sincere sympathies to the families and all the loved ones of those eight people who have sadly passed away. I'd like to mention um, some suburbs uh, as we usually do at these updates, um, where we are seeing uh, increased case numbers. And I'd particularly like to highlight the areas of West Tamworth, Berkeley in the Illawarra, Belmore, Maroubra, as well as suburbs uh, where we have seen case numbers uh, being reasonably high in the past, and they are Auburn, Punchbowl, Lakemba, Blacktown, Mount Druitt, and Fairfield. In terms of sewage surveillance, I'd like to um, note sewage that we have detected in the following regional areas where we currently have no recorded cases. And they are in Lightning Ridge in Western New South Wales, Ballina and Urala in Northern New South Wales, and Bordella, Bega and Marimbula in Southern New South Wales. So if you live in any of those areas, we ask you to be particularly vigilant for symptoms and please come forward for testing uh, if you have even the mildest of symptoms. In terms of our regional areas, 
We currently, well, till 8pm last night, had 60 new cases reported in the Illawarra Shoalhaven area, 45 of which were from the Wollongong local government area. In Hunter, New England, we continue to see uh, relatively high case numbers, 83 new cases reported till 8pm last night, 26 of those in the Lake Macquarie local government area, 14 in the Maitland uh, local government area. In the Central Coast, there were 21 new cases reported till 8pm last night. In Southern New South Wales, 15 new cases reported till 8pm last night. In Western New South Wales, 7 new cases. Northern New South Wales, also 7 new cases reported. And Murrumbidgee, 4 new cases and Far West, two new cases, both of which were in Broken Hill. So I'd like to end uh, my comments today by just saying a big thank you to the community for coming out in the numbers that you have to be vaccinated. Uh, it's really terrific that we've achieved the 70% double dose target. Um, and really what we want to do is to see that number grow even higher in New South Wales, aiming for greater than 90 double dose coverage. And that's our challenge for all of us. We know that the vaccines are highly effective and I encourage anyone out there who hasn't yet got their first dose or hasn't booked in yet for their second dose to do, please do so as soon as you can. Thank you very much.